Shin Yeun, who diligently worked her way to stardom, is slowly skyrocketing to the top. She first became popular through a web drama and is now known for her diverse acting skills. She is one of the most humble, soft-spoken, and warm individuals in the industry. Her charms are endless, and she's immensely expressive. Here are 10 things you should know about this rising star actress. She began her career as a model. She was born on January 18, 1998, in Sokcho, Gangwon Province, South Korea. Since she was young, she was already drawn to dramas and films, this is the reason why she decided to major in performing arts at Songyungwon University. Prior to acting, she worked as a model and even appeared on the cover of the magazine College Tomorrow 840 in 2017, which kick-started her brand deals and casting offers. The star shined in the delightful web drama 18, where she starred as trendsetter Do Ha Na and made her mark as a rookie actress to look out for. She had nightmares after filming the curling iron scene in The Glory. She is enjoying a new peak in her acting career after her stellar performance in The Glory. When she played the teenage version of Pak Yeon Jin in the series, she freaked audiences out with how well she depicted the character's coldness. One of the most famous scenes was where Pak Yeon Jin tortured a schoolmate with a burning curling iron. It was truly a taxing scene to film for everyone involved. The actress revealed, it's acting, and honestly, we all film knowing that we're only acting. But at that moment, you just think, what am I doing? It was a cold curling rod anyway that I was holding up to her, but the actress was crying her eyes out. So I just thought, what am I doing? And I ended up getting an outtake like that. When I went home, I ended up having nightmares. The aftermath of the glory was pretty different from what she expected. She is so passionate about her work that she is interested in trying out even villainous roles just to bring in diversity. When The Glory's first season was released, K-drama fans were stunned by her acting chops. There she was, playing the unnerving character of a cold-blooded bully, and it wasn't too long ago that she also played the role of a victim of bullying in another drama, Revenge of Others. It was only a matter of time before the overarching range of her acting skills got recognized. But according to the actress, the outcome of her performance in The Glory was drastically different from what she had expected. Before the release of The Glory, her agency had told her she would gain droves of new followers because of her performance. But in reality, the show only made her existing followers turn away. She joked on my little old boy, many people told me they don't want to see me smile, and they don't want to see my face. But this reaction was the original sign of success for her because it proved how convincing she was in her role as a villain. She got her motorcycle driver's license, especially for he is psychometric. In 2019, she starred in TVN's drama He is Psychometric as a smart young woman whose father was framed for arson. Her dream is to become a prosecutor and clear her father's name, but she eventually becomes a police officer. The actress once shared that she had gotten her motorcycle driver's license, especially for the show. She said she needed to get the license quickly and added shyly that she got a perfect score. She continued, it was my first time on a motorbike. I practiced with my manager and even practiced with putting a camera in front of the bike. She played musical instruments growing up. She has proven her skills and talent in her career. However, there was more to it than what she had been doing recently. She played musical instruments before turning to acting. She said, I studied music until I was in 8th grade. Then I switched to acting in 9th grade. I briefly played the violin and the viola for 3 or 4 years. She's a workaholic. When an actress has to maintain such a tough work schedule, it becomes just as tough to try to balance work with fun. Sometimes, actresses are all work and no play. Touching on her workaholic tendencies, this actress told Dazed in February 2023, it's now been one year since I've charged forward with the mindset of focusing on work without paying attention to anything else. But from a certain point on, like a workaholic, I was so tired because I'd get up earlier to exercise or study and do other things. I could have just slept, but I'd look for something to do out of anxiety, and after wandering, I figured, working hard has to be done in moderation, overdoing everything is not possible. Once I get home, I might head to a study cafe with bloodshot eyes, but I keep saying in my head, let's sleep, let's play. Even if she leaves it alone, she feels anxious, but when she works, her body is tired. She added, that's why I'm currently figuring out how to rest by playing with my friends and doing my hobbies but I still have to take my supplements. I really think I survive off the strength of supplements. 
she goes on diet, gym, and ballet to maintain her health and weight. Her slim frame made headlines when she once revealed through social media that she was a mere 92.5 pounds, 42 kilograms, at around 5 feet 54 inches, 169 centimeters. She does not keep a strict diet regularly. Her diet during this time included an apple for breakfast, chicken breast, sweet potatoes, and tomatoes for lunch, and a banana, grilled mushrooms, and onions for dinner. She also exercises with the help of a personal trainer. Whenever she has the time, she hits the gym. Regular workouts help keep her stamina up. She once shared that she had been into ballet and credited that to her growth in height. She said in an interview, I think that coming out pretty is one of the fun of watching dramas, so I manage that. She is a fan of football star Ku Jia Chol. She is famous for being a fan of football star Ku Jia Chol. In fact, the only person that she is following on Instagram, besides her agency, is Ku Jia Chol. She previously went viral when Ku Jia Chol called into a radio show the actress was hosting on her birthday. Her hearing is very sensitive. Having a good night's sleep is important for everyone, especially this actress, who relieves stress by sleeping. She likes to spray pillow mist on her bedsheet, which helps her fall asleep. If she still struggles to fall asleep because the surrounding is too loud, she uses earplugs. She said, my hearing is very sensitive. If a heated mattress pad is on, that noise is enough to wake me up. And the sound of a cell phone ringing too. Even my alarm is on vibrate. She likes to spend time alone. Enjoying some personal space when she gets some rare time off, the actress admits that she often enjoys just being on her own from time to time. She shared one of her most relaxing alone times with Y Magazine, saying, When I traveled to Germany, I was at a cafe alone, ordered a cup of tea and a cheesecake, and read a book. I found that very relaxing. I still carry with me the happiness I found at that moment.